All right, so it's 2021. Thank God we got past 2020, but the pandemic is still in full swing and everyone's still quarantining, at least here in the US. Everyone's working remotely or going to class remotely. So the timing of this video is actually pretty perfect because today I wanted to focus, hone in on a specific remote desktop app and it's called Awesome. Not awesome, although it is pretty awesome. It's a completely free to use software. There is a paid version, but 99% of you will not need to use it unless you have a specific need for one of those features. Most of the powerful features that this app provides are completely accessible in the free version. Obviously it supports Windows, but it also supports Mac, iOS, and Android because not only can you remote in from PC to PC, but you can do mobile and PC as well. You can control PCs from your Android or iOS device and vice versa. You can control your phone, for example, from a connected PC. But I'll put all of those download links in the description so you can get them really easily based on the platform that you're using. Now, before we do a full demo here, another big application for this is IT support. If you guys are like me, which you are, we're all techies here, then you have constant uh, requests from family members and friends to help them with their computers, their phones or mobile devices. And right now with the pandemic and quarantining, it's not really ideal or recommended to meet people in person, which makes IT support kind of difficult at times unless you have an application like this. So this is really easy to remote in. Even if I need to help my mom log into her email or something and I'm not even home, I can still do that from my phone, assuming that both devices have Awesome running on them. But let's go ahead and remote in. I actually have another system that's set up right now in the other room in the editing bay here at the office. Um, but we'll pretend hypothetically that it's actually at home. And my cleaning lady is on her way to my house right now. She's got the keys to my place. And I just remember that I forgot to lock my desktop. All right, and I've got sensitive files on there. So, and you know what, let's take it a step further. Not only did I forget to lock my desktop, but I also left open a window of something explicit. Something I would be very embarrassed for someone to see. Perfect. Let's uh, go ahead and remote in really quick before she gets there and, and sees this god awful picture that will scar her for life. I'm gonna go ahead and punch in my partner ID doo -doo 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 of the remote system at home, as well as the passcode. These are numbers that I would have gotten beforehand and brought them with me to the office so I can remote in anytime. I'm gonna connect and if all goes smoothly, hey, there we are. Now I'm remoted in to my home PC. So now I have full control. I've got keyboard, I've got mouse, I can fully control that system from my office. And uh, all I gotta do now is minimize this so the lady doesn't see it. And I gotta scroll down here and I'm gonna lock the PC. Now I've got peace of mind, everything's cool. And if I wanted to log back in, let's say, and work on that computer from here after she's gone, I still have access. I can still log back in, enter my passcode and boom. I'm back. And whenever I'm finished, I can just simply close the window and it automatically disconnects. So that was a super simple demo, but it definitely gives you an idea of how the software works, at least in this capacity. Let's try connecting my phone to this PC to see if I can actually remote control it from my Android device. Couple different options here. If I go to discover, then you'll see remote assist in the top left corner. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that punch in my credentials and connect. All goes smoothly. I should be seeing a preview of this desktop. Hey, and there we are. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate my phone to landscape and voila, I can pinch to zoom. I've got my keyboard right here, my full QWERTY, as well as the mouse. So if you tap that, ooh, look at that. This is actually really, really smooth. I like how the desktop scrolls along with you so you don't have to do that manually. That's pretty sweet. Um, this is kind of nice. So you've got your left and right clicks as well. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Firefox and we're gonna go to YouTube. And you know, we've got right click and left click, right? But if you see the circle that's on the top here, right in the center, you click that, you tap and hold it, it becomes a scroll function, scroll wheel. Ooh, it glides very nice. Very, very nice, super responsive. And then it looks like the bottom one is just a different way to scroll. Oh, that's a much faster way to scroll if you've got like a really long page or an infinite scroll. Yeah, pretty sweet. Now, since this is the BitWit channel, you guys are probably wondering about gaming. I know that that's gonna be a, a hot topic for, for this video. And yes, I did try it. And no, I don't think I'd recommend it. Maybe for certain games, like when I was playing Among Us, 
it was playable. It wasn't super smooth or anything. The choppiness was, was there, you could tell. It wasn't very fluid, but you don't really need ultra fast and ultra smooth gameplay for a game like that. So if it's more of like a puzzle game or just a really slow paced game, maybe a turn-based type of title, then it could work. Then you can remote and, and play remotely. But for something like CSGO, which I also tried, it's, it's just not happening. It's way too choppy and probably not worth your time. You're gonna wanna play games like that from a local PC. That being said, there are some gaming applications where this app can work really well, like benchmarking, for example. Probably not as super applicable to you guys as it is to content reviewers and you know product reviewers like myself, but it's huge. If you are a working professional, let's say in the IT space, you have to run benchmarks or just do any kind of uh, remote uh, work that way, it's a total no brainer. And the software is incredibly lightweight. So on the PC that I was remoting in from, I was only seeing maybe three to 5% CPU utilization from the awesome application. And on the remote PC I was accessing, which is hypothetically the system I would be running benchmarks from, the Austin application was sitting at 0% utilization, meaning that my benchmark data would not be skewed if I were to do testing with this method. Oh, there was also one more feature I wanted to share with you guys that's part of the free version of this software, and that is screen mirroring. So if you don't necessarily need to interface uh, directly with someone's device, but you just wanna see what's happening, like my mom calls me. I always use my mom because she usually has all these technical difficulties and asks me about them. Uh, if my mom's having some, she's seeing some visual artifacts on her phone that she's like not sure, like is there a problem here? And I'm like, I don't know, what kind of visual artifacts? Well, she can just show me that with a very quick screen mirroring action here. So what we can do is, let's say this is my mom's, or let's say this is my PC at home. I'll click screen mirroring. I can share this image with her. She can take her phone and go to discover, screen mirroring, scan. So I'll just go ahead and scan that guy. And before you know it, boom. I can now see everything that's going on on my mom's phone. So here we are on YouTube. My mom looks like my mom's been watching some Linus tech tips. All good, I'm not jealous at all. There's Austin. So yeah, it's actually pretty smooth. What happens if we... Oh my gosh, Austin. Hey guys. <laughs> oh geez. That video playback's actually not bad at all. You could easily watch something remotely like this. Although you wouldn't have audio, I don't think. But it doesn't matter. Look at how smooth it is. It's beautiful. Um, so yeah, again, really powerful software that is virtually free. Now, if you do have a specific need for one of the features that's within the paid version of the app, you may not even have to pay for that either because Austin actually has their Sunshine program which is just such a wholesome sounding name. If you click on, or if you tap me and go to get discounts, there's a bunch of different ways that Awesome allows you to collect sunshine. It's a point system. You can see I've already got five points under my belt. What? Ballin', that was just for my daily check-in that I get to do once a day. You get 80 sunshine if you invite friends, 20 sunshine every time you click on ads. So it's pretty cool that they give you the opportunity to access all of their features, even the paid ones, for completely free. Granted, Sunshine never becomes a legitimate currency, kind of like Bitcoin. So there it is. Pretty awesome stuff, if you ask me. Awesome sauce? Awesome sauce? <laughs> Just forget. Just cut, cut. Right. But seriously, this is a super cool software. It has tons of fantastic feedback. 4.6 out of 5 stars, I think, on the Play Store with over half a million downloads. It's a legit software, so if you guys want to check it out, I'll put links, once again, in the video description. Thank you to Austin once again for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see y'all in the next video.